Now, it's not the first place you would expect to find an ancient example of Jewish life, but at the International Book Fair in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, a rare Torah scroll is on display. It is said to be complete and has already been seen by tens of thousands of visitors. To talk more about that, we're joined by Dr. Chaim Meir Neria, curator of the Chaim and Hannah Solomon Judaica collection at the National Library of Israel. Thank you very much indeed uh, for being with us, Dr. Neria. And it's uh, reportedly 400 years old. Old. Um, do you know anything else about this particular scroll? So um, it's hard to see or to know a lot uh, just from uh, the picture. What we, but uh, some expert, what I know, tell them, can say that it's uh, originated in Morocco. Um, what we call the Atzei Chaim, the um, what hold the Sefer Torah are a tinier than uh, what we usually know on Ashkenazic uh, Sifrei uh, Torah or Torah scroll. And it's also a tradition that uh, the line number are uh, 49. Um, today is less uh, common, but this is the, basically the information that we were able to gather based on uh, the pictures that were shared uh, on the media, on international uh, media. So um, it's uh, by itself and uh, interesting. It's not, uh, of course, the earliest uh, or the most rare uh, uh, Torah scroll, but uh, 16th century is uh, relatively uh, nice. And uh, uh, we hope that maybe um, if things will be moved for a positive way between uh, Saudi Arabia and Israel, we will be able to scan um, this Torah scroll and to upload it to our uh, website of uh, scrolls and manuscripts, Jewish scrolls and manuscripts. So we'll see, maybe we will know better at uh, that time. All right, well, and it is complete, am I right? Because um, if, if it wasn't complete, it wouldn't still exist, is that right? It's not necessarily because we have um, uh, fragments also. Also, fragments are very important uh, to keep and to uh, if they still remain. Uh, in this case, it seems to be a complete Sefer Torah or Torah scroll, not a Bible, um, with, but uh, basically the five um, Chumashim, the five uh, books of Moses. So it seems to be relatively um, in fair and uh, good conditions, uh, of course, to and such a all the uh, manuscript. And, and what do you make of the fact that people are in Riyadh in Saudi Arabia, a country that doesn't currently have ties uh, with Israel? People are there looking at a, a, a authentic Torah scroll. What does this tell us about efforts to understand Jews in Saudi Arabia? So, so this is, I will say, the you know, if a guess, but I, I, um, if we are going back, we know that um, in uh, the first uh, years of uh, of Islam, uh, the Prophet uh, Muhammad encountered with the Jewish tribes, probably in Saudi Arabia. I mean, he described them; they were live in the holy cities of Mecca and Medina. So, um, but we don't have any um, remnants or things that were survived from these um, tribes, groups. We don't know exactly who who, who they were. Um, and uh, in addition, we know that in different than Christians, uh, Muslim are uh, on the one hand very much respectful of the culture of uh, uh, books. I mean, uh, Muhammad was the first one in the Quran to call uh, the people of us, the Jews, mm -hmm. as the people of the books, Am Sefer Al El Kitab. Um, on the other hand, there was a tradition uh, in the Islam or a line of argument that the Torah was not uh, given as it was or in a very precise, precise way by the Jews, but there were uh, 
Um, the way we moved the, the tradition was not 100% uh, accurate. It's so a, it, it was a double, double, uh, um, I mean, the, the, the question of how to react to Torah scroll, it's very interesting because okay. um, um, it's, it seems that something uh, start to... It could reveal more about, um, about cultural shifts, couldn't it? Absolutely. Dr. Neryan, we're out of time, but it's great to talk to you. Thank you very much.